Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Kangaroo Express. Australia, the land of kangaroos and bushmen, the magic land of seaports and deserts, the land down under. Through this desert and bush country, hopping and puffing and straining every valve, travels a little Australian choo-choo. Inside the tiny passenger car rides Clutch Cargo and Company. And so the reason for our trip to Australia is to find the plane that was forced to land in this territory. We're at this point now. The railroad goes northeast to a point near where Jim Jim Creek and the Coolatong River meet. Then 35 miles directly west of this point is where we'll find the plane. Was the plane on a mission? Yes, very important one. The plane is loaded with treasure, Australian diamonds, thousands of them. What about the water? Is he there? No. He made his way through the bush country to a small place known as Quan Curry, an airfield used during the war. As far as I know, Spitter, we're the only ones who know about the plane. It's our job to bring back the treasure. And we must be careful. Did you hear that, Hawk? That's Clutch Cargo and his pals, all right. And that's the map. That means we've got to think of some way to get our hands on the map. Right, Bad? Right. Just keep your eyes open. We'll find a chance. I put the map safely in my pocket. And remember, Mom's the word. Oh, I won't say a word to anyone. I'm going to get a drink of water. I'll be right back. Now's our chance. Come on. <laughs> oh, pardon me, sir. The train must have jerked just then. Very sorry. Well, okay, but please be more careful. Oh, we will, won't we, all? That we will. Come on, Paddington. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have been so abrupt. Did you get the map? Don't ask foolish questions. I'm in Ock, the best pickpocket in the business. Good. Now to unhook this car for the rest of the drive. No sooner said than done, that old boy. <laughs> Look, we're slowing down. That's funny. No place way out here to stop. I'll take a look. No wonder we're stopping. Our car's been unhooked. And the map, it's gone. And we're stranded miles from the nearest settlement. Boy, does the wind ever blow out here? It's blowing the right way, too. Huh? What do you mean? You gave me an idea. I saw a big tarp and some line in the back of this car. Maybe that wind's strong enough. Working swiftly with a huge tarpaulin and line, Clutch fashions a homemade sail. Okay, Spinner. Let's hoist the sail and get underway. <laughs> Sure are, Spinner. Boy, we're sure picking up speed. But how are we going to stop? Here's our water stop. We'll pull off to the side in the night. Watch! It looks like the train has stopped. What are we going to do? We'd better lower the sail. Look quick. Look how he's stuck, Watch! Brace yourself, Spinner. We're going to crash. Okay, Spinner. That train was on a siding. But while Clutch and Spinner worked feverishly to take off the sail, they failed to see the warning sign for Dead Man's Curve. Clutch! We're falling! How can Clutch and company avoid being crushed when they drop to the valley floor? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo.